Revelation chapter 8 begins with the opening of the seventh seal. And this is a statement that follows the opening of that seal. Listen to what it says. When he opened the seventh seal, chapter 8, verse 1, there was silence in heaven for about a half an hour. Now, you might think, well, half an hour is not that long. But in heaven, it's like eternity. It'd be like if you were listening to a sermon and suddenly the guy stopped for a half an hour. It'd be dramatic. So what's the silence about? Why is it there? Well, there's all kinds of thinking. There's all kinds of conjecturing. Some say it's to prepare for what's about to happen. It's so awesome. It's so tragic. The judgment's about to fall. Some say it's to hear the prayers of the saints or the cries of the martyrs over the centuries and centuries. As John continues, the judgment begins to pour forth. There's hail, there's blood, there's fire, there's all this wrath that's being poured out upon the earth. It's God's judgment finally coming to a, a world that has rejected him. Four trumpets are blown and four judgments occur. And as you get into the chapter, and you see all the wrath and all the things are being poured out. John ends it with this statement there in chapter eight. And I looked and I heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth because of the remaining blast of the trumpets of the three angels who are about to sound. God has finally began to pour out his wrath on a Christ rejecting world. And the chapter ends with an angel pronouncing not just woe, but woe, woe, woe. God is about to judge the world. And this is an amazing time in the history of the earth. Nothing like this has ever occurred before when God who so loves the world now comes to a time when he begins to judge the world who has turned their back on him and on his love. This chapter, chapter eight, begins a very amazing, difficult, horrific time on planet Earth.